right, welcome back. Esmen believe the whole Nigeria because Buhari is Fulani, Falaye. All right, the news in detail. According to Falaye, an average Edsman ignorantly believes he owns everything in Nigeria because President Muhammadu Buhari is a Fulani. All right, a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Chief Olu Falaye, has condemned the constant attacks on farmers in the southern part of the country by marauding S-men. According to Falaye, an average S-man and an average S man ignorantly believes he owns everything in Nigeria because President Mohamedou Buhari is a Fulani. Okay. And if they can no longer provide for these people, it is for you to take part of the money you are receiving from Abuja on their behalf every month to create grazings, reserves, and water for your people. But you, you are now conspiring with them coming down to the other people's domain, causing problems for other people and i also suspect that some political manipulations are going on when i was a child s men were our friends they would bring their cows here and we would sing with them after selling their cows they were not threatening anybody okay and then um, but in the last 10 years or 15 years they became violent and they have become a different thing together. All right, all together, and I suspect it's because the president is a Fulani. The ordinary headsman ignorantly believes that they own everything in Nigeria, both all of us in Nigeria and whatever we possess. For example, a few years ago, one of the headsmen hanging around my farm met one of my workers and asked my workers why i was disturbing them that i should be planting my maize on one side and allow them to graze on the other side even on my farm he was proposing that i should share my farm with him as such a person got any sense of property right okay did he think he has no right in that place? Oh, I, it's, it's just a question. All right, so this is a new development for its men to think they own what you have and that you must share what you have with them. As I have said, there are natural factors responsible for pushing them down south, but the state government of where they come from always has a responsibility to look after them. When they saw that the Armagiri was not a good thing, they decided to end it and decided to carry Armagiri from one place to another. Vanguard quoted the former SGF as saying, Speaking on the recent hashtag NSAS protest, Falai said, so don't tell me that the protest is dangerous. Peaceful protest is LD. It is part of democracy. When a peaceful protest is hijacked, the question is by who? Indeed, it is not those who organized a peaceful protest. You don't hijack your peaceful protest. But it is other people who could have been put up by the government to give a dog a bad name and hang it. The way the NSAS protest was organized, I was impressed. It was matured because, uh, because it was matured, peaceful and um, patriotic. The security people saw that it was developing a lot of interest. They behaving responsibly and to destroy and give them a bad name. They organized, they organized people and shot at them. Why did they shoot at them? That is the question. All right, and on to the matter. On to this right now, it has been said that S men believe they own Nigeria because Buhari is a Fulani and Falaye has but stressed this so far. Well, the thing is, when a devil is ruling, so the 
people behind him will also behave like one. So what we have seen so far is that the person ruling the country, being a Fulani or not, if he has a good heart, the people definitely will have a good heart towards the people. But the truth of the matter is a lot of people have said it as well. The main person that was voted in, his name is Buhari, that the person that is impersonating Buhari right now is the issue. And, uh, it's, and if you take a very good look at what is happening, the person that is actually impersonating is that same person they, they paid to act like, uh, uh, like the president. That is what a lot of people have been saying already, and of which we all know, okay? But the truth of the matter is, no matter what they do, they are not bigger than God. So that is you know, what we are so sure of. They are not bigger than God. God is bigger than anything they can think of. All right, that has been said. So, I mean, while Funsho Ibrahim is saying that Buhari is not a full name man, okay, those cattle herders from across the West Africa have criminal tendencies. This problem has been with us for more than 50 years. We should find urgent solutions rather than making wild ethnic Behast statement. Okay, that has also been said by Funsho Ibrahim. Well, he's saying that Buhari is not a fool, and he, okay, waiting Buhari come be okay. He said, Mo go ask Google. All right, that has been taken a while. Anonymously, he said that Daddy, well said, this nation will be redefined when God of the oppressed sets to change it all. Okay, all right, and then it is also said that S men, S men yet with. OPC and Amotekun, with all their so-called charms and police, yet all of you cannot arrest any S man. Okay, to show us, to show to us that you people are really working. Okay, if those S men are spirit, but when someone within your society either steal or commit a crime, like kidnapping or petty stealing, you easily put tire on that person okay and born in my life but go about complaining about s men that you cannot arrest anyone that believe in this trash is a biggest fool like falai okay that's what you bring sudan has said so far well some people will be like ah is this is it the same jubri sudan that they are talking about or which sudan are they talking about on this one yes yeah, so all right now so we see i'm jubri sudan has spoken on that one all right that is it my people on this one well let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless